We have been talking about graphing all types of equations. So now we're going to look at graphing inequalities that have two variables. So before this, we were graphing um, inequalities with one variable, and we would, you know, put it on a number line with an open or a closed circle, and we would draw an arrow. So what we're going to look at now is how we do this on a graph, a coordinate graph, and it, we're still going to be looking at sort of open and closed circles and arrows with shading and dotted lines and solid lines. So in order to do this, first we're going to solve our inequality for y. Okay, so just like when we solve equations, we need it in y equals. This isn't going to be y equals. This can be y and some uh, inequality that we have. So we are going to determine whether to use a dotted or a solid line on the graph. Now, so dotted and solid, that's very similar to open and closed circles. So dotted is going to be less than or greater than. Solid is going to be less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. So dotted is kind of like our open circle and solid is like our closed circle. Okay, so remember again, so dotted does not include the points on the line, okay, whereas a solid will include the points on a line as a solution, okay, so these do not include the points on the line as a solution dotted will include it as a solution. So next we're going to uh, graph our inequality just like we would an equation. So we're going to start by graphing the y-intercept, aka the v, and then use the slope, aka rise over run, to plot the other point. So that is the same just like when we're solving. Decide which side of the line to shade. So this is going to be equivalent to our arrows. All right. So in order for us to decide which line to shade, which way to shade, there's a couple of different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you multiple ways, and you can pick the way that you prefer. Um, pick any point, meaning an x, y coordinate, on one side of the line. If possible, pick 0, 0, because plugging the origin into our equation, if you're working with 0, it makes life much, much easier. Um, plug the point into the inequality and solve. If the answer is true, shade on the side with the point. If the answer is false, and you can use your calculator for that piece, shade on the side without the point. That is one way you can do it. I'm also going to show you a second way, and you can pick what works best for you. So let's look at a real-life uh, practice problem here. Y is greater than 2X plus 3. Solve for Y. Well, we don't need to do that. It's already done. So we have Y is greater than 2X plus 3. So we need to first decide what kind of line we're going to have. This is greater than, not or equal to, so it is a dotted line. Um, and I'm going to have y'all start writing MBLS, where we are writing down M, which is our slope. My B is 3. My line is dotted. S is going to be shading, and we're going to talk about that piece in just a minute. So we're going to actually graph this. So we're going to start at 3. We're going to rise 2 and run 1. I can also go down 2 and back 1. My line is dotted. You can use a ruler or you can just freehand it. Now, this is the part where we need to decide which side to shade. So the origin is down here. It is not on the dotted line. So one method is to pick a point and we're going to plug it in. So we're going to put zero in for X and Y. So I have zero is greater than 2 times 0 plus 3. I don't really need the calculator for that. 0 is greater than 3. Well, that is false. So that means that the origin is not a solution. 
So that means we are not going to shade on the side where the origin is. So we're going to shade up here. And this shaded portion says that all of these coordinates we can plug in for x and y, and it would make this inequality true. So for example, if I pick, so let's say this is 1, 2, let's try negative 3. If I put in negative 3, 0, which happens to be right here, so I could say 0 greater than 2 times a negative 3 plus 3, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. This is a true statement, and I can see that it is, in fact, in the shaded region. You do not want to pick a coordinate on this line. It is a dotted line, so these are not solutions. So here on our MBLS shading, here is the second way you can do this. This is a greater than symbol. So that means we need to shade above our line, okay? So you can use this method or you can use the pick a point to decide which way you want to shade. So let's try another one. This one is not NY equals for you. So we're gonna have to do a little manipulation. Um, minus two. Minus 2, I'm going to go ahead and write over here up a little more space. Negative 3y, don't forget your negative, is greater than or equal to 6x. I can collect like terms, plus 12. Divide everything by negative 3. And we have to remember, when we divide by a negative, we have to flip our inequality. So y is now less than or equal to negative 2x minus 4 i less than or equal to negative 2x minus 4. So I'm going to write my m, b, l, and s. And based off just this inequality, my slope is negative 2. So I know my line is going to go down. My b is negative 4. My line is going to be solid because it's or equal to. And my shading, this is less than. So if greater than was above, then less than is going to be below and we'll see what that looks like in just a minute. Here, solid line. We're going to graph it. We're going to start one, two, three, four. Below the x-axis, we're going to go down two and right one. Remember, I can also write up two and left one. This is a solid line, so just like when we graph a regular equation. And I'm shading below. Well, this is above the line, right? Think about your y-intercept. My y-intercept was negative 4. All the numbers above negative 4 are here, so that's not going to work. We need below, so it's going to be shaded on the back side of this line. If that does not make sense to you, that's fine. Again, pick a point. We can pick the origin. It is not on our line. Plug it in. And when we plug it in, plug it into this original, 2 minus 3 times 0 is greater than or equal to 6 times 0 plus 14. That goes away, that goes away. 2 is greater than or equal to 14. Well, no, that is false. So the origin should not be shaded because it is not a solution. Now, you can graph these in the calculator. You go to number 2, graph. And you're going to have to change it to a relation like we talked about. So you hit delete and number six. And I'm going to put in this original inequality, 2 minus 3y. Remember, control equals gives you your choice of inequalities greater than or equal to 6x plus 14. And you can see, in fact, that this is a solid line and we are shaded below. If you wanted to make sure you changed it correctly, we can hit tab and we can put in this as well. We can say y control equals is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 4. And just like when we were doing the types of equations, it should overlap, which it does. So you can see also that you converted it correctly. Um, I would like for you to try number three and number four. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions on the form about that as far as what might be a solution. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it tomorrow.